Alright, so welcome to my end of 2016 slash beginning of 2017 cube collection video. Uh, this is basically end of 2016 because I haven't gotten any new cubes yet. So these are all the same ones I had on December 31st. I wanted to get this up on December 30th because that was my three year anniversary on YouTube. The first video I put up was a cube collection video, so I wanted to do the same. But I couldn't do that, so... I just ran out of time. So it's all coming up now, which is alright. And uh, definitely stay towards the end if you want to hear some cool information. And yeah, just enjoy my video. A lot of these cubes on the shelves are the ones I use kind of on a daily. And then I have a little bin that I keep all my like excess cubes in. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And enjoy the cube collection. Alright, so I'm going to do my, go through my M by M puzzles first, and I'm, for the most part it's going to be biggest to smallest. So this is the biggest puzzle I have. It's a Shang Chao 8x8. When I was really into cubing, I put a whole um, cubicle logos on all of my Shang Chao puzzles, so most of them will have that. This is the Shang Chao 7x7 in pink. This is the full size. This is the mini one in black Shang Chao, of course. And this is where it gets kind of different. This is the MFS. Um, the I forget the name of it, but it's the only 7x7 they have. The budget one. Here is the Aofu, the cubic one. Um, I really like it. As you can tell, I used it a lot. These stickers are all chipped. So is the blue. I'm getting the Ukes in, but I'll probably order that this week, actually. Cubic uh, Aofu as well. Uh, and then one more alpha, but it is in stickerless. And then this is my six Shang Shao, my six by six at Shang Shao, and it's pink. I don't think I ever really solved it. I think I just restickered it, and then it kind of sat on my shelf because I really wasn't into bigger cubes. Then this is the Moyu six by six. Um, I was trying to think if Moyu came out with a second six by six. I feel like they did. Yes, they did. This is the first one though. I have to find... wait, no. Yeah, this is the first one. Yeah, this is definitely the first one. This is the QIYI, or the GE 6x6. It's one of my favorites just because it's the smallest one. Oh, well, the Yuxin is the smallest one, I believe. It's a little bit smaller. But, um, yeah, that's the Yuxin 6x6. Here's the new 6x6 by Moyu. Mine's just really sluggish, but if it was faster, it'd be really, really, like, the best 6x6 I have. I have another Black Yuxin 6x6. This is the Outroing, the first Moe 5x5. This is just a Shang Shell that I modded to have Florian. I didn't really use it, though. This is a... This is the YJ. It's the Yu Chuang. This... In this Moju 6x6, they feel very similar to me. Comment below if you agree with that or not. This is the Shang Shao Win 5x5. It's pretty good. It's a decent 5x5. Um, I don't think it's better than like the top ones, though. This is the Mofang MF5S uh, 5x5. It's pretty good. This is the Cheese 5x5. Yeah, I... I feel like people have said this kind of feels like there's there's seven by seven is it or is it six by six? I don't know. I get confused now. There's so many big cubes coming out. This is the bow twing five by five, and then here is another out twing, just in black. This was the very first uh, like speed cube speed cubable five by five I got. Alright, so I got a few more 5x5s. Five five um, this is the Hua Chuang. This is the second uh, release from Moyu. This is the Yuxin. Oh, I dropped one. This is the Yuxin. This... Ew, hair. Uh, this is another Hua, uh, Hua Chuang in sticker list this time, though. And then this is the Cyclone Boys 5x5. Five five. I believe they've only came out with, fun, with one 5x5. Five and then this is the Moyu Wei Chuang GTS, their latest 5x5. Um, it reminds me a lot of the Bo Chuang. 
And then, last but not least, the Shang Shao 5x5, the mini one that's like the size of a 3x3. I really like this, but it just pops a lot. And then, we have... That's bothering me. <laughs> we have two Aosus. This is just transparent, and this is transparent stickerless. This is a, um... The Yuxin Blue. Yeah, and I have Thunderclap Springs in here. This is a very, very, very good 4x4. <laughs> this is the Yuxin Lion. I believe this was their first release. If not, I don't know. I believe it was, though. I could be wrong. I do know that this is Mo Yu's um, first release 5x5. This is the Waisu. And then I have a mini... Mo, a uh, mini, yeah, mini Mo Yu Aosu. I got it in white. I don't know why I decided to get white, but yeah, it's not as good as the regular size one, in my opinion. And then we have the Mo Yu Aosu. I have this white, and it has a crazy bad Cuber logo on it because this is his color scheme. I think that's why I put it on it. Could be wrong, but I think that's why. This is the Cyclone Boys G4. It's better than their first one that they came out with. But, you know, it's still not the best. This is the YJ Yusu. It was the second release of the Yusu. Um, Yusu R, I believe. Yeah. This is another Aosu. Or Osu. I remember when that was a big thing back in the day. This is the Shang Xiao Wind. This is another Osu. This is stickerless this time. This was my first stickerless 4x4 I got. This is a YJ Guansu. Yeah. This is that. This is the Kong's Design Mayu. I got it in pink because pink is pretty cool. And then I'll show. This is the Kung Fu brand one. Um, I haven't really solved it this much. I solved it that much. So I can't really give an opinion on that one. And then to end it, these are all regular size Aosus. And then this is, is this a mini? Yeah, this is a mini one in black. This black one is definitely better than the white mini one I have though. But yeah, I have a lot of this brand. <laughs> It's definitely my favorite 4x4. Four four. Oh, and one last 6x6 six six that I forgot is the Moyu, uh, the first really 6x6, six six, but stickerless and with pink. Alright, so now moving on to my 3x3s, three which is obviously the biggest part of my collection. This is the very first Gans that came out. This is the 357. And this is also a 357, just in black. I got the black one first, I believe. And then here is the 356S uh, version 2. To be honest, I don't even remember what the difference is between the V1 and the V2 is, though. And then I have two, my two Gans Airs that I have. I have the blue, and then I have the primary, because a lot of people know, like, what the struggle was with to get a black one. Uh, this is a mini Al Long. It only came in the V1. This is the Al Long V2 in white. This is the Hualong. I, um, this was my second favorite Moyu cube. My very favorite ever was the Al Long V1. Like, still to this day, it's my favorite Moyu cube. This is the Wei Long GTS. Pretty good cube. And then this is the Li Ying. Yeah, this is the Li Ying. I really like, I would say, yeah, this is definitely my third favorite cube. And then this was the very first 3x3 um, three three from Moyu. It is the Huan Ying. It wasn't bad, but I just don't think a lot of people like switch to it if I'm. If I'm remembering correctly, this is a Shang Shao Aurora. Yeah, this is the Aurora. And then here is the Wind. 
they were good cubes for what they were, which were budget cubes. This is the Kung Fu 3x3. Kung Fu I don't know if they came out with another 3x3, but this is the only one I have, and it's the first one that they came out with. This is the very first Yuxin 3x3 they came out with. Not the Fire, I believe, was their, their other 3x3 that they actually like named, but this was just like literally the Yuxin 3x3. This is a YJ Cube, but I put um, a Crazy Bad Cuber sticker because I put his color scheme on this one. I believe this is the Yulong I put that on. Or maybe the Sulong. I don't really remember. This is the YJ Chilong. These, the, the YJ were like the OG budget cubes. This is the Sale. I actually wrote that on there so I would know what 3x3 it was. This is the Guanlong. Here is the Thunderclap. It's uh, not that good of a cube because I have the Yukes and Blue 4x4 springs in there now, but yeah. And then this is the Bullfight. I'm pretty sure it's the Bullfight. I think it is. I never really played with it that much. This is the Kong's design. This is the Yu Ying. This was the first one they came out with. It was a pretty good cube. I liked it. It was had very blocky corners though. And then this is the their latest one they came out with the uh, Miying. With the little logo. They definitely have one of the best logos. And then we have the X Man Tornado. Is it Tornado? I believe it's Tornado. It was a decent cube. Wasn't it's not my favorite though. I think it's kinda sluggish to be honest. Alright, this is a Mo Mo Yu Wei Long, and it's just in transparent plastic. This is a Tang Long in pink. This is a Mini Wei Long. I think that's V2 if I had to guess. This is a Wei Long GTS. Yeah. This is the Yuk Xiao Guan Yin. Yeah, I think so. This is the out. This is an Along, just with the transparent plastic stickerless. This is a Zanchi. No, this is a Ling Yun. Yeah, this is a Ling Yun. This is a Zanchi. It's just purple. This is the Fengshi Guan Ying. It's not the first one they came out with, like the ridges. It's the one right before that one. This is this is a Long Hoi. Yeah, this is a Long Hoi. I think this was my second favorite cube after the Zanchi. At some points, I even liked it more than Zanchi. This is the latest from Fengshi. This is the Jiyun, Jiyun, something like that. This is the mini one though. This is the Guan Ying again, I'm pretty sure. Just in the transparent. And then this is the CX3 from Maru, just in transparent plastic. And then I have the mini CX3 in, in uh, stickerless. This is the mini Shrang Line in transparent plastic as well. This is the uh, G Yoon, the one with the weird ridges on it. This is a Zanshi, just white plastic. This is a Shwang Ren with the uh, primary body and black caps. This is a Guhong. Uh, this is the Diane Tian. It was their very first cube they came out with, which was not very good. But for the time that it came out, I'm pretty sure it was like good. This is the Moyu Diane. A lot of people don't like this cube, but I really like it. Like I used it for a good like three months, like eight, like every day. Wow, I missed I messed that up terribly. How did I do that? This is the Aolong GTS. I'm pretty sure that's... yeah. Uh, this is another Aolong GTS. Or is this a Tanglong? This feels like a Tanglong. That might be the Tanglong. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that 
it is. This is a Waylong V1. This is the Volk, my black one. And then this is the San Juan Mars. It's very, very bad. I definitely, definitely do not recommend this cube. And then I'll just show this one right now just because it's right here. It's the original Mar uh, Maru 3x3, their first one that they ever came out with. Alright, so these are the last few 3x3s. This is the Cyclone Boys Fei Wu. This is the one that, that came like with the six pack, and I made force cubes, and the yellow one is like the only one I keep on my shelf. This is the. It's like. Yoon Fang. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's like very, it's like blocky. Um, literally, I cannot pronounce the name of this one. It's like it starts with a J and it has about 15 letters in it. But in my opinion, it's the best performing cycle in the board. Well, maybe not performing, but it's my favorite. Um, I don't even know, I couldn't find this one, I don't know the name of it, but as you can see, the centers are bigger than, not the centers, the corner, the edges are bigger than the corners, and it sounds like very plasticky and blocky, because it is. These, one of these is, oh, yeah, that's kind of, I should switch those, but I'm lazy. One of these is the Wit U, and one of these is the Wit Long, I don't know which one is which, but yeah. I have both of those, and then I have three mini Diane Zanchis right here. These are the smallest size. This is a 50, yeah, 50 millimeter. This is a Fang Kun, and then for the last one of the last three by threes is the um, the YJ cube. They have one that where it's like transparent, not just like the smoky transparent. There's that, and then I see two more 3 by 3s on my shelf, so I'm going to just grab them real quick. This is the Cubicle Ting Long, I got it in gray. And then I have my Mint Vault. And now on to the 2 by 2s I have significantly, oh wait, just kidding. Now last 3 by 3 uh, Shang Xiao Mini. Now onto the 2x2s. This is the Mo Yuling Po, the first 2x2 two two they came out with. This this is the Kung Fu 2x2. Two two. It's pretty good. It just catches. Other than that, it would be really, really good. Here is the Yuxin White. It's pretty okay, too. 2x2s, <laughs> two two, I feel like they're all kind of really good, though. What Eden, the uh, version 1. Yeah, version 1. Even this is still a decent 2x2 that you could use. This is the MF2S. Here is the GE Cavs. Here is the um, Feng Shui Zing Yu 2x2. Um, this is, actually, let's do this one first. Uh, my Diane Original Plastic 2x2. Two two. This is the regular size. This is my Wit 2, my other black one. This is the Mini uh, Diane Plastic, uh, Original Plastic one. This is the very first uh, Feng Shui Shui Shuang 2x2. Oh, you can tell it's very gummed up in there. It's slow turning. This is the Tang Po, I believe. And this is the Wei Po, I think. I might be getting those switched, but one of them is one of them is the Tang Po, one's the Wei Po. But I think this is the Tang Po. And then for my last one is the Cyclone Boys 2x2. Two two. I don't believe it has a name. I think it's just the Cyclone Boys 2x2. Two two. And that's all the 2x2s two that I have on my shelf. So that's basically, yeah, that's all of my uh, M by M puzzles. Um, so next is just going to be like the rest of like WCA puzzles. 
Alright, so this is my QIYI Scube. This is my Dian. The like original first Dian. Not Dian. This is my Moyu, my first original Moyu. This is the Dian. Got it in transparent. This is the Kong's Design Machin, Machin, something like that. This is the new Moyu Magnetic one. Yep. And then for my um, square ones, this is the MF8 V1. Both of these are. I have the Moyu square one. I, it would be a lot better of a cube. It would be better it would be way better than the chi if it um was like a lot faster but it's sluggish. And then this is the Shang Shao. It get, it catches like right like right in this when you slice here on this one it always catches so and then probably everyone's main the Q I Y I G E cube. Alright, so that's it for my skews and square ones. Next is Pyraminxes and Megaminxes. Alright, so this is the Fangxi Megaminx, or like Limb Cube maybe, but I know like Fangxi's somehow related to that. This is my Dian. Um, this was the one without ridges. I have the stickless one, but that one has ridges. This is the um, the YJ Megaminx. Um, I think they came out with two. This is the the second one, not the first one. And then I have the uh, X Men um, with the uh, ridges. It's not really ridges. What is this? Um, uh, I forget the name. If I remember to do an editing, I'll put it right here. But everyone probably knows that one. This is the. Oh gosh. Slipping and sliding. This is the Shang Shao Mega Minx. This is the second one they came out with. It's alright when you are like actually turning it, but if you turn it slow, it's not that good. This is the second version of the Dian Pyraminx with the ridges. I actually very really like it. This is the first version, just with no ridges. And I actually have a black one of the Dian with these little bumps. And then one more with the limited edition see, green one. This is the original Moyu Pyraminx. This one is the magnetic one. And this is the, I think this is magnetic too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the X-Man one, I believe this has magnets. And then, last but not least, the Q-I-Y-I Chi one. So that is all of the, I'm trying to do a quick sweep, oh wait, let me just show this in here right now. This is the, my Rubik's clock, the Rubik's brand one, and yeah, now, this isn't, um, I don't know if clock is still in the WCA, I'm pretty sure it isn't though, I don't know, I don't really keep up with that, but I can just show these are my magics that I keep on my shelf. These are the mini ones I have. These are the mini ones I have and then I have like the full size ones. But yeah, so that's it for all my like WCA puzzles I keep on the shelf and now I'll show you everything else. Alright, so for these last ones that are just kind of random puzzles I have, I'm not going to take them off my shelf. I'm just going to show you them on there because I'm getting lazy. But, um, you can see I have my 2x2 two two Mega Minx there, and then I have my two gear puzzles. And then I have a Kirby Copter. I believe it's a Shang Shao, uh, Shang Shao um, brand. That's why it has that cubicle logo on it. And then I have the Moyu Wheel of Time. And also the... Uh, two ghost cubes, the one on the top, um, it's like a knockoff, I don't remember the brand, but the bottom one is a Mefferts one, and then those four little groupings of, are my two by, my two by two and three by three, my three by three and four by four, uh, shape mods, 
um, I forget the name of them, but there's those. Then I also have uh, my two my mirror boxes. Uh, one's a two by two, and then I forget the brand of it, but the one on the bottom is a Shang Shao. Maybe the two by two is two. And then I have a gear ball. Oh, I guess I could have put that uh, Rubik's three by three with my three by threes, but that is the Speed Cube version. And then on the bottom shelf. I have a Rubik's link if you can see that. And then I have the two uh Moyu Moyan puzzles or Evil Eye, I believe. And then I have a Rubik's Void that I restickered with a regular color scheme. And then I have two cuboids. I'm pretty sure those are the only cuboids I have. Um yeah, that's basically it. The one on the bottom is a two by is a three by th two by three by three, I believe. I don't know. Something like that. And then, yeah, those magics that I already showed. And then I have two more uh, MoU 4x4 shape mods. And then I have a... Is that a Kilo Minx? It's basically a 5x5 version of a Mega Minx. I forget the name. And then the last one that's... um Well, I guess it is a WC, WCA puzzle because it's just a big 3x3. But it's the Shang Shao one, um, not the YJ one. Alright, so this is the shelf where I keep some of my rarer puzzles, and yeah, basically that's it, except for that Mega Minx back there. I don't know why I have that up here, but I have my two uh, Jade Club puzzles, my Metallic Ghost Cube, um, these two uh, Mefferts puzzles where like you can take the top off and like hide stuff in there. These two limited edition cubes, they're basically like the shape mods of the Moe, but just transparent plastic. I have a Rubik's World 2x2 two two and 3x3. Three three. And then all of these are my uh, Mega Minx balls that are metallic ones. And I have my Hedgehog, I believe that's Hedgehog, uh, cylinder barrel things, the metallic colors. And then on those boxes, you can kind of see it peeking through. Those are like my transparent uh, Mega Minx balls. And that one, I forget what's limited edition about that one, but I'm sure it is. Um, but those three are the, um, no, those four are the, the transparent, um, Mega Minx balls. And that's basically what I keep on this shelf. Oh, I also forgot about this big, uh, 3x3 up here. So I also have a cube twist up there. It's just an old puzzle that I got from a friend who had it in their house. Alright, so in this little, uh, bin thing is where I have a lot of miscellaneous cubes and I would say about like 80-85% of them are like duplicates of the cubes that are already on the shelf. Um, I used to have mainly all of these ones in the second drawer. I used to have a lot of those um, on the shelf but like I rearranged it because I wanted more room because I was buying more puzzles and I just didn't have room for all of them. And so these are like all of the ones that got in here. Um, Let's see. Okay. In here, I just have like a whole bunch of stickers and obviously some colored pencils and like a whole bunch of stands and like cube like bags back here and just some markers, but mostly it's just like stickers in here. In here, I might be locking. Oh, wait, let's see if that helps. I don't know. In here, I just have. Like, this is where I keep all of my, like, stuff that I set up my puzzles with. So, like, exacto blades, lube, uh, screwdrivers, a whole bunch of just random stuff. Um, I have another thing. This is, like, from the air. This is some more screwdrivers. The air stuff like that. This is a Diane Megaminx with the ridges. This is a Feng Shui Shui Shuang, the big one. What else is back here? This is an original square one. This is, what is this? Oh, this is the, uh, like, cat cube. And then I feel like I want, oh yeah, and then the Shui Shuang in transparent. And it used to have the hearts in it, but I took them out. And I just stickered it regularly. Okay, so sorry for if the light was kind of weird and like shadowy in some places. It should be a little bit better now. But for this drawer is where it gets kind of 
complicated. <laughs> Not complicated, but a lot of cubes. And I was debating if I even wanted to go through these because I have to clean it up after I take them all out. But I guess I'll just do it. Uh, I have a timer in here. I not really use that, though. Um, let's go back. Okay, so now I think you can see all of it now. These are all the... Um, they, these are all the caps for the Mega Minx. This is a Moyu Mega Minx. This is the uh, Concave Cube. This is a Shang Shouse Cube. This is a Shang Shouse Cube. That one has Land Lands Cubes in it, I believe. This is a Broken Rubik's 2x2. This is a, a Diane. One hoy, something like that. This is a YJ. I believe that's a Yulong. This is, uh, I believe this is one is a Yulong too. But I changed the stickerless shades of it. This is a Cyclones boy, the um, the Feiwu, I believe. This is a regular Rubik's cube. This is a, um, it's the um. The magic that they sell at the cubicle, I forget the brand. This is a Aowong. I believe this is a version 2, I believe. This is the Liying from Moyu. This is a Zanshi, just a 55mm. This is a Dan Shang. The ones where like the these can be scraped off super easy. This is a mini, the Wit Eden Mini 4x4. This is a Gans 356. Uh, probably an S, I have no idea. I have a Mini Cube, uh, Wit Eden. I have two 1x1s in the two sizes. Um, what is this? Oh, it's like the little packet for the How to Solve a Rubik's Magic. This is. I think this is the YJ Scube. It's like very bad though. Oh gosh, they're all falling. This is a YJ Yulong. This is a Cyclone Boy, the Feiwu one. This is another Feiwu, the orange one. Let's see, is this. Okay, let's go through there. Uh, this is an Aolong version 2 primary. Feiwu, Feiwu. Wait, oh no, some of these aren't. Some of these are YJ puzzles. I don't know. Some of these are YJ puzzles and some of them are um, cycling boards. This is obviously a YJ puzzle. This is a Shang Shao. I think. No, this is a cycling boys. Yeah, this is a cycling boys, definitely. Uh, another Rubik's Cube. Some YJ Chilong Sulong, one of them. This is a Sheng Shao. I forget the brand of it, the name of it though. This is a YJ Sulong, feels like maybe a Chilong. This is a Feng Shi. This is the Shuang Ren. Yeah, that's that. Uh, mini Aolong. Uh, YJ. I have no idea. One of those three cubes. This is a Guanlong in white. This is original Rubik's Cube, the first one I ever had. Uh, I restickered it though. Some of them sides I restickered, unfortunately. I wish I kept it like in its regular. Another Cyclone Boys, Feiwu, I believe. It's, uh, Cyclone Boys. This is a Gans 3, just like the, the first version. I Get, uh, this is a Guanlong in black. This. What is this? This is an Aolong V2. This is an Owl. This is a Hualong in stickerless. Rubik's Cube. This is a Mo Yu Wei Long. This is some Ghost 3x3. I have no idea. This is a YJ Sulong, just transparent stickerless. This is a Diane Zanchi stickerless. This is another Aolong. This is a, a Panchi, I think.
Alright, so I gotta try to go through this last one quick because my camera's dying. But for these last ones, they're kind of like older puzzles mainly. 3x3 three three ball, a Shang Xiao Mega Minx, the first version, uh, YJ Mega Minx, the Yoohoo, but the not the Yoohoo R, just the Yoohoo. This is a. It's a tiled Mega Minx. I feel like it's MF8. This is a Shang Xiao 2x2, the first version. This is a regular Shang Xiao Pyraminx. This is a YJ Pyraminx with tiles. This is a Cyclone Boys Pyraminx. This is a Shang Xiao Pyraminx, their new one. I should put this on the shelf, really. A uh, mini 3x3. Wa Mo Yu 2x2, the first version. Bang Shi 2x2, the Shui Shuang. Wit Eden 2x2, the V2, the one that's not very good. This is the X Man, um, like Concave Mega Minx. Wit Eden 2x2, um, stickerless V1. Mo Yu V1, version 1, like without the magnets, Pyraminx. Uh, UFO. This thing, I don't remember, I don't know the name of it. Uh, this is a Shang Xiao 2x2. This is a. That brand, I have no idea. Alexander Star. I had it solved, like almost all the way solved, and I messed up on like the last few ones and kind of let it go from there. Uh, Shui Shuang 2x2. Mefert Ghost Cube. It's back here. This is a Maru Transparent 2x2. This is a Diane uh, Original Plastic 2x2. I have a Rubik's Revolution, another one back there. These are all like magics. Just like, a whole bunch of magics. Master Magics, Rubik's. A whole bunch of mini, a few mini ones, not a whole bunch. Um, these are all Shang Xiao puzzles. Yeah, that's Shang Xiao. This is a Shang Xiao 5x5. Shang Xiao, Shang Xiao, maybe? No, this looks too big to be a Shang Xiao. Oh, this is a Rubik's 5x5. This is a Maru 5x5 in transparent. Uh, this is a, a Diane 4x4. This is a Maru 4x4. That was weird. Uh, square 2. Um, Shang Xiao 4x4. Mar uh, Rubik's 4x4. Diane 4x4. Um, this one. Cyclones Boy 4x4. This is a Shang Xiao. Not a Shang Xiao. A Mefford's Ghost Cube. A blue, no, no brand Ghost Cube. And a Mirror Box. And I think that's it. Maru Mini 3x3. And I'm pretty sure that is it for the rest of my collection. Alright, so that was the cube collection. Hopefully you guys made it to the end. Um, I just want to say a few things. Firstly, for like all of the cubes in the bin, I want to sell like a lot of them. I'm willing to sell a lot of them. So just um, offer down below if you're able to buy. And I'll most likely say yes because I just kind of want to make room. And furthermore, um, if you guys made it to the end of this video, I'm going to do a three-year giveaway. Um, the, the rules are if you comment down below anything and are subscribed, you're entered to win, to win it. So the only people who will know about it are if you watch till the end of the video. So um, I guess if you want to announce it, you can. But if you keep it to yourself, you're more likely to win because who knows how many people are going to make it to the end of the video. So... I just want to reward everyone who watched the video fully through. Uh, be subscribed, put a comment down below, and you will win the contest. I don't know what the prize is yet, but it'll be something pretty cool, um, hopefully. But yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Here's the 2017. I uh, hope you guys have a great year. hope you had a great 2016. And just want to say thank you again. And that is my whole cube collection.